Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Transformers Titans Return Broadside in four minutes or less. Titans Return Broadside is a Voyager class Transformer, so he's around seven inches tall in robot mode. He's a rare character in the Transformers library who hasn't had an update since the original G1 release back in 1986, probably, probably because the original was so good that it's like, how could you make it any better, is what I wish I could say. The reality is that G1 Broadside was given the dubious honor of making Toy Galaxy's list of 10 worst G1 alt modes back in May of 2015. G1 Broadside was so bad that it could have taken three spots on the 10 worst list because all three modes were the worst. 30 years later, anything would be an improvement. I'm smart enough now to know that a toy is designed and engineered first and then a character and backstory are crafted around it. For triple changers, it's a bonus if all three modes make sense thematically. It's an even bigger bonus if all three modes make sense in terms of scale. I'm not the first person to observe that Broadside is intrinsically flawed because as a toy, he is either a very large robot and jet or a very small aircraft carrier. Mass shifting is kind of a big deal in the world of Transformers. It's inherent to your enjoyment of the mythology. That said, I'm gonna need you to meet me a little closer to the middle on this one. If one of your modes is an aircraft carrier, you should be at least as big as Devastator in robot form, if not even bigger. I don't care how you explain it in the comics, cartoons, or even on the back of the box, I can't wrap my head around Broadside changing into a ship that his jet mode would be able to land on. It would be like Optimus Prime transforming into a truck and like a hat or a shoe or a PlayStation. 30 years has been good to Broadside. His robot mode is a chunky, well-articulated beefcake. The blue, gray, and red color scheme feels like Broadside for those of us who maintained a connection to the look and concept of the character, even in the absence of an acceptable toy to put on the shelf. The only thing he's really missing is a waist swivel, the ability to look up and down, and a big honking axe. Jet mode, while better than the G1 jet mode, is still the weakest of the three modes. It feels unfinished, or perhaps this was supposed to be step seven of a 10-step transformation, but they removed some of the tooling to keep the budget in line and just ended it there. Ta-da! The rear stabilizers are problematic in all three modes, having no good set position to hide them in. Maybe they were going for a futuristic jet look with the wings that point forward, but I think they look more like they were assembled backwards. I carefully flipped mine around so they would at least point in the right direction in jet mode, and while they stick out from his legs in robot mode, at least maintain a decent profile, so yours is going to look a little different right out of the box. Those fins give his carrier mode a more sci-fi future look, and Hasbro included scale aerial bots to park on the deck, which is a stroke of genius. Those tiny jets, even painted all white, are easily in the running for accessory of the year. And while I do love the carrier mode, foil stickers do not look good on the deck. They're too shiny, misaligned, and applied on top of sculpted elements so they don't sit flush on the surface. It's just a matter of time before they peel right off. If you just can't reconcile the mass shifting problem, or you don't like paying for a triple changer who only has two good modes, then this is an easy pass. But if you want to round out your Wreckers roster with the official Hasbro update to one of the worst pieces they ever produced, then this is a must have, so buy it if you see it, and if you see two, leave one for the next collector. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like, hit subscribe, share this video, and let us know in the comments below who your favorite triple changer is. It's hard because Broadside is still my favorite triple changer, in theory, just not in execution. Maybe they just need to get rid of the whole jet mode part. Just have him be a regular two mode transformer, or have him transform into the shield helicarrier. That's what he should be. That would be awesome. I would buy that in a second. Guys.